Welcome to Trading Lounge, the gold silver report for the Friday, the 11th of June, uh, starting with gold here on the daily chart. Um, as you know, uh, from the top to the bottom here, we are looking at the 50-60% retracement level. So we expected to spend weeks here and uh, so about weeks, but we're spending time here anyway based on that. And it's also the supply level coming across here as well, because this is where it was support and eventually it became the resistance. So it's the most critical price point in the chart at this point. I mean, obviously the 2000 is um, uh, important as well, of course. And uh, yeah, so we've spent time here. I think we may be finished here and we could be pushing up from uh, here now. Wave fours can get complicated, so we need to be a bit philosophical and a bit careful about um, how we do things, but it has pulled back to the 38.2% retracement level. So let's cruise in there and uh, have a look. So just in the bigger picture here as one and two here, and then going up for wave three here, and then a four and then a five. So as I've mentioned a few times before that, um, Above 2000 here, we've got this, which is a major level, and we've got minor levels. So one, two, and three make up the minor levels. And then the next level is the five here, Fibonacci sequence of numbers of one, two, three, five, and eight. We use as a price ratio. Uh, it works well with the structures. So we normally expect the first high to come into uh, play within group one here. <clears throat> if this trend is going to continue to move up, because I figured that we're going to have, in a bit of a nutshell, have five waves up here somewhere, and then we have a larger um, ABC pattern coming into play. That's normally this, normally what happens. I would be wrong if this number here became the support. If 2,300 became a tested support, then what it does, that 300 severs the, the market from being pulled back to the 2,000, and it will start looking up at the 500 that's what will happen. So that is at that point, I will know if we're wrong or right. Um, but one step at a time, we're a long way from that at the moment. And we just need to stay grounded and keep our feet on the ground, uh, stay in the trend here, not get shaken out. Um, we've done quite well. We've had positions all the way through here and we're keeping the stop out of the way. Once the 1900 becomes the support, we'll be able to move uh, move our stop um, a bit closer. So just on this trend here, we've got wave one and two and one and two and three here and four here, and we're going up for wave five of three. And this wave four can technically come back to the wave four of one lesser degree. Normally I find it's up a little bit, um, but we'll just uh, see how that plays out. Um, but yeah, the skeleton of this is that um, wave four here with one and two and going up for three here and four and five. So I think that we're on our way here now. Let's just go to the hourly chart. Um, so <clears throat> Yeah, so yesterday we were, we've been looking, we thought we may have had the little ABC in here for this, but it didn't, it pulled back, uh, pulled back into the box. In fact, it went a little bit lower here than that. It's okay, we've kept our stop well out of the way here. Um, we could put the stop up to here now for that, but just in case this wave four does something a little bit weird, you know, because it could be, yeah, it just could be something like, uh, well, all of this, the A wave here, I'm just shooting the breeze now. So copy this with a B wave here and then copying this here if I've got the right one. Yeah, and a C wave over here for this. So an A wave, a B wave over here as an A and a B and a C wave here for the B wave and then down for the C wave here. So that's why we'll keep our stop out of the way because it's we've got to look at everything, you know. It's not, it, it the thing could be, the wave four could be finished um, and we've got a nice impulse wave here to, you know, but that could just give us a false sense of security. So we could end up with something, an expanded flat here just taking the top out of this wave structure here yeah and then coming down and taking the bottom of this out here just and then moving off so it'd be horrible to get stopped out you know within all of that because you know we've got we haven't reached home base yet we've got um you know we've had positions from way down here from all of this 
you know, so it's been a bit of a journey. Um, and we don't want to get flicked out by the dreaded wave four. So, um, so we need to just look at everything, you know, um, you, you, you'll have an opinion that that's, you know, cod swallop or whatever, but, um, yeah, it's not over until the fat lady sings. So let's just, um, continue to be diligent, patient, and thoughtful and peaceful. Okay, so yeah, that's that. But looking quite good, actually. You know, I mean, um, yeah, we'll we'll see how this progresses up through here. But because we've got five waves here, we'll get five waves over here. So we'll just I'll just dull that out here because it's probably not the case. But you know, I don't want to take all the excitement out of it for you. Um, but I've got to keep you grounded as well. So let's check out silver. It's doing same, but diff same, same, but different. So just in a bit of a nutshell here, I have moved the wave two, uh, from here to, uh, here on this it just makes sense because it's a little bit messy coming down here, but from the low here, it looks like we've got some sort of A, B and C up here. And then it, this looks like a C wave. It looks like five waves here for this. So, um, but yeah, look, that's looking quite good as well. I mean, obviously we've got too many positions at the same sort of price here, but people um, may not have gotten this one and they may have gotten this one or this one or whatever, but the same thing applies here. We've got trades all the way down here and uh, we want to keep, we don't, we don't need the stop at the moment. You know, we don't want the stop, uh, you know, <laughs> being used unnecessarily. So uh, I still haven't resolved uh, this all ill here because it hasn't really finished off nicely here with the thing, but uh, I'll get around to that at some point, but I'm not that worried about it, to be honest. Um, it will become apparent as we move along. But um, as you know, in both cases, the 1900 for gold and the $28 here for, um, for silver <coughs> have always been, and I've said right from the get go that those, they're the two numbers that, we need as support and none of this is support when a market trades above above a level it's not support until it comes down and tests it you know and then takes out the high and it just hasn't happened across here so um yeah hopefully we'll get it this time we'll see that build but that's looking all looking very nice here for gold and uh silver Okay, well, I don't, there's nothing really much to say, um, except, you know, just uh, uh, hang in there on, on all of these. We should actually have a bit of a look at um, GDX while we're here. So GDX, uh, this is a one hour chart. It's on the trading view uh, site. And... <clears throat> Look, it's really the same as US spot gold where I've got wave one and two here and one and two here and going up for wave three here, coming back for wave four. And we're just starting to see this lift now off here in the last session. So that's all good. And um, yeah, we'll end up getting a classic trading levels pattern across uh, here as well. Um, So a classic trading level pattern is the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and then then the uh, the A, the B, and the C correction here, and then uh, then we build up from that point. So that looks a bit like this here, just to make it nice and clean. That's the level across here that we're working with, the arrival that we've got. We've got the reaction. We're about here somewhere. Um, so we need to push up to here and we'll have an A, B, C pattern that can pull back to the wave four, one lesser degree and then move up from that point. So that's the journey across there. Um, I think that's how it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be the, the variation where it just comes here because we're still looking for that wave four to pull back unless we get an extension in the fifth wave, which is also quite likely in commodities. 
stocks normally have the third wave as the extension commodities can have the fifth wave but so but i don't think we're in for that um and we're certainly not the only other pattern that can occur at the level is this one here where it doesn't stop at the level the overshoot pattern but it did stop at the level so we're not we haven't got this i would only look at this one if it didn't stop at the level and continued further up then we would have this pattern so this is i just call it the overshoot pattern so there's only three patterns that can really occur at the levels so there's that one that's the variation of the classic trading levels pattern and this is the the normal one and sometimes they're you know ugly as a dog's breath but um sometimes they're beautiful as well uh so in one way once you kind of know the general pattern and if they're being skewed in some way or another after a while you get to see it so yeah just pointing them out but you won't realize these patterns unless you put a line across there this is the medium level at forty dollars here so it's a medium level carries a fair bit of weight <clears throat> um, so we've got major levels medium levels and then minor levels and sub levels and micro levels the same sort of degree of structure you'll have with elliot and then having this price point over here as a price ratio with the, tr the trading levels are really the Fibonacci level a Fibonacci price as a price ratio so kind of helps just bring it all together a little bit further I mean it's even difficult for really good Elliott Wave people to make money just using Elliott Wave because things like the wave four moves around a lot or all sorts of weird stuff sort of happens but when you bring in another tool like support and resistance and understanding things so the next level down here of course will be 38 that's the first level down here but we don't put it in in orange that's a major level so i don't know why i'm having difficulty with this okay that was pretty pretty swift wasn't it hey get the hang of it so so we'd have eight there so eight then the next level down of course will be 35 so 35 second strongest number and then to the upside here we can start putting in these here so it would be 40 group one will be working with next with this so i'll just put it in here now i'm taking up your time but i think it's important that you get a grip on this because you won't once you've got the lines on your chart it just makes it a little bit easier to see things so one two and three is group one and then the next level up of course um is number five that's right and then after five is eight of course so one two three five and eight and we'll put that in there while we're here and that's really all you need to know with the levels in one way or another it's just one two three five and eight yes there's more to learn but that's just the basics and you can use that you know you could use that in anywhere you could use that one two three five and eight you could use that within the first one dollar mark here so you get to one dollar so it'd be 10 20 30 50 80 uh, and group two this this is all of group one the midpoint and then we've got group two group two is well 65 well um yeah 65 72 and 80 here so a little bit more complicated but i won't go into that but just remembering you know put the lines on your chart and look at one two three five and eight and you'll start to see the market you'll just see them because eight's a profit taking number so you coming up to number eight you expect the bids to be hit you know anyway enough waffling uh enjoy the weekend cheers